Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS STTM programming. In this video, we will see how to easily remember the content of SDTM DS dataset and how to easily remember the variables in SDTM DS. So, let's say there is a clinical trials in which the subjects will go through the following flow. So, they will first sign the informed consent to participate in the clinical trial and then if they meet all the eligible, uh, eligibility criteria, they would be randomized. And once they are randomized, so they will continue further into the treatment. So for treatment, they may choose to complete or they may choose to discontinue the treatment anywhere uh, in between. And similarly, so we, the subject may choose to complete or discontinue the study anywhere during the duration of the study. So we call the informed consent and randomization as our protocol milestones. So these two will be called as protocol milestones and whereas the subjects decision to choose or complete the treatment or study we call them as disposition events so we call the treatment completion or study completion decisions as disposition events informed consent and randomization as protocol milestones so here we have treatment disposition and study disposition so we have something called as so we, we call this as study treatment disposition and then we call this the subject's decision to choose to complete or discontinue the study so we call this as study participation So what we capture basically in disposition is the important dates for all of these things. The date when the subject signed the informed consent, date when the subject randomized and the date when the subject chose to complete or discontinue the study or discontinue the treatment or the uh, completion or discontinuation date of the study. So what is the variable that we can use to store this date is the key variable is our DSST. DTC. So it is disposition start date time in ISO 8601 notation. So where do we store this information? So the whether a particular row corresponds to. So basically the structure in SDTM, uh, SDTM da data set would be one row for each of the following protocol milestones or disposition events. So at the max a subject can have four of these rows. So date of informed consent on its own row, date of randomization on its own row, date uh, of completion or discontinuation of treatment and date of completion or discontinuation of the study. So this information whether a particular row belongs to a protocol milestone or whether it is a disposition event is stored in a variable called DSCAT. So DSCAT would be used to store whether that record is a protocol milestone category or disposition event category. So we note here that so in disposition event, there are two possibilities. One is study treatment disposition and the second one is study participation disposition. So we use a variable called DSSCAT. DSSCAT. So DSCAT is for categorization of the disposition value and SCAT is used to store for disposition events, whether it is study treatment disposition or study participation disposition. So we have DSCAT. DSSCAT, DSST, DTC. So along with this, so here if we see whether the subject chose to complete or discontinue and if the subject discontinues, there is a reason. So we have a variable called DS term to store the reasons for discontinuation. Sometimes what happens is like the collected reasons are not in standard format and we may want to convert them into standard notation. So we have a variable called DS decode to store the collected values after converting it into standard notation using control terminology. So we have DS term, DS decode, DS SCAT, DS CAT and DS STDTC. So these are the core variables in SDTM DS domain. So we have, so if we come back here now, see, so let's try to 
populate some other variables so if it is a clinical trial so every study we know that it will be identified with a name so as we are creating sdtm ds domain so there is a variable called domain so which stores the abbreviation used for that domain and for subject we will have u sub j d and so as we have one or more records for each subject we create a derived variable called ds seek to store the unique sequence uh, unique value on each record so study id domain u sub j d ds seek ds cat ds s cat ds term ds t code ds t d t c so these are the variables that would be needed in sdtm ds domain and we also know what are the possible values in ds cat and what are the possible values in ds s cat so and we also know what content goes into ds term and ds t code and what goes into ds t d t c so this is how you can easily remember what data is present in sdtm ds data set and what variables will be used to store that information thank you for watching and keep learning